Denali is extremely violent. I had winds try to knock me off my feet at 80, 80 miles an hour. Hi, I'm Petra Hilleberg. I am here with amazing polar explorer, climber, and overall fabulous adventurer, Lonnie Dupre. <laughs> Hi, Petra. <laughs> So Lana, you have um, this past year, or last winter, you did a pretty amazing expedition that people probably should not try at home. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, it was, uh, we did a, I did a solo winter ascent of Denali in January, and uh, it was, it was a hard trip because it took me four tries, four winters, but it was, uh, I, it's it's hard because it's uh, dark at that time of year. You have very little light, um, extremely cold, and with the Alaska Range, it's the weather's always finicky. So um, it was a very hard hard project, and uh, of course, also very beautiful at that time of year. The it's so cold, uh, 30, 40, 50 below zero that somehow that changes the the colors in the air and on the ice and the snow. It's more magentas and and purples and pinks and it's it's something you only see when it's really extremely cold uh, so uh it was it was a it was a very interesting trip i, I enjoyed it actually majority of it why would someone want to do something like that what drives you to do that oh uh, well i've i've done uh polar expeditions over the last 25 years and uh, to the north pole and we did uh, circumnavigation years ago of greenland and um, I wanted to utilize the skills that I learned in the Arctic doing polar expeditions and apply them to mountaineering. And uh, I wanted to apply them to winter mountaineering because <laughs> I'm, I'm a winter person. I like, like, I like cold. the cold. I like the cold. Um, anything over 70 degrees gives me a headache. Yeah. I mean, the heat, you know. <laughs> I just uh, really prefer winter. I always have as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. And so on this trip, I know that uh, before this last try, you were not using a tent. You were doing snow caves instead. Yeah, well, Denali is extremely violent in terms of storms. The winds blow 80 miles an hour, 80, 100 miles an hour. Um, it's extremely cold. So the natural um, survival instincts and the things that you want to do is like get below ground like a like a squirrel and you know. <laughs> and so um, I dug snow caves for the first three years on Denali to get away from the wind and the cold because at that time I wasn't sure if there was a tent that could uh, withstand those conditions um, until... What were you thinking? <laughs> yeah. It's like, if I only would have known like four years ago, <laughs> I could have been in a tent the whole time. There you go. So the time that you were successful at your climb, you did use a tent. Yes, I used one of your uh, solo tents. Uh, it was light, easy to assemble, and the biggest thing about it was um, I knew that the tent, the, the fabric, the poles, uh, the configuration of the tent would withstand the winds that uh, and the snow load that I would get on Denali. We have snowfalls sometimes of four to eight feet. I had an eight foot snowfall in, uh, in about a 30 hour period. Um, um, we've had temperatures, extreme temperatures of minus 50. And I had winds while I was climbing, try to knock me off my feet at 80, 80 miles an hour. So I was naturally uh, early on thinking there wasn't tents out there that I could really um, stake my life on and I just without doing too much research I just automatically use snow caves and then as as the time went on I'm again I was burning up a lot of time making these snow caves it takes two hours each day and um, and I started doing more and more research on your tents and realized that by taking a Hilleberg tent it could save me uh, an hour and a half e each day and just trying to set up a camp and I can be dry and warm in inside and um, I'm so glad I did that because I think that's one of the main reasons I was successful in, in 2015. And then so um, what are you up to now? You're on your way to uh, Nepal? 
uh, going to Nepal with a eight person team. Four of the team are going to be trekking in the Manaslu circuit area and four will be climbing uh, an unclimbed peak called Langju in the Tusum Valley of the Manaslu circuit. And really excited about it because it's exploring because we're going in to um, try to climb a mountain that no one's climbed before. So there's no established routes. Um, there's going to be a lot of, you know, surprises along the way. And, um, and, but, but really what drives me is meeting interesting people that we're going to run into, um, some of the Sherpa people that live in the deep in that valley. Yeah. And so that's going to be very fun. Good. Well, it's really nice to see you and, um, <laughs> thank you for stopping by and, uh, we're glad you took the solo this time. Thanks, Petra. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.